I grew up a dancer. Um, I grew up in New York and Queens, and I was a competitive dancer my entire life. And I attended Fiorello H. LaGuardia School of the Arts and Performing Arts in Manhattan. It's also known as the Fame School. And it was an amazing experience, and I always imagined myself to be a professional dancer. And when I learned about the profession of athletic training, that was the, my calling. I always envisioned that type of care for performing artists. It's something that I never received, meaning that full encompassed from beginning to end prevention, that on-site family style um, coverage and support. And then if you do get injured, that athletic trainer is there to respond and rehabilitate you back to your full performance level and hopefully maybe even better from when you began. How have I been able to reduce the injuries by 50%? And that has been our prevention model. Prevent, prevent, prevent. So each performer upon their hire it receives a pre screening and it's a full functional screening. So we are putting them through a battle of tests to look for any red flags that may predispose them to injury, also getting a gist of where they're coming in to the field. And then each performer gets a preseason strength and conditioning program based on all of this data that we found during their screening process. They are individual per performer and these programs are I call them no excuse programs. These are programs that they can perform in the comfort of their own home with minimal tools. It's body weight, therabands, maybe a physio ball, some light dumbbells, basic work. And when you also then speak to your performer about these issues that you've found, you have to be very careful with the words that you use because they want to be so perfect at all times. It's really, it's a language and as long as you let your performer know that this advice that you're giving them is going to just make them a bigger, better, more outstanding performer and hopefully prevent injuries. And my biggest go-to message is I really want to give you the longest career that you possibly can have. So those messages to them kind of break through and then they implement these programs. So what did we do for some of the functional stuff? So a functional dance scream, one movement is the uh, plie into the releve. So the, the performer is balancing uh, unilaterally, and you have them put their hands on their hips, and then we have them bend their knee into basically a mini squat, and then directly up into a releve, which is up onto the toes. We, I don't work with uh, point dancers. If I did, then I would put them functionally into their point shoes as well for this, for this, uh, for this screen. So, what I'm looking for is if their knee is rotating medially to their second toe, if they're able to, any tracking issues with their patella, if they're unable to balance in this position, with that in parallel, do they have to turn their foot out? And those issues will tell me that there's obviously low leg issues going on. Do they have, um, is their Achilles too tight? It's not allowing them to flex all the way. Is their lateral gastroc too tight that they're pulling their foot out sideways? Um, is, are their IT bands really tight or do they have a hip dysfunction that their knee is rotating medially? Are their adductors just super weak and that's making their knee rotate medially? Those are the type of things that we look for in this basic uh, plie to releve screen. And when they go up onto releve, usually, commonly, dancers wing out onto their pinky toes to get that extra little edge up onto that point, but I always correct them to make sure that they're evenly dispersing their weight along all their metatarsals. So then if they can do that, then I know that their ankle stabilizers, they are a little bit more fine-tuned than if they cannot. You also look for any wobbling through that motion if they have like a shaky ankle. Um, also looking bilaterally, does one ankle have a, a deeper flexion or plantar, dorsiflexion or plantar flexion compared bilaterally, those are issues that you want to look for, obviously, as well.